Hello. I have a delivery from Atlas Stationers, and this was a purchase that falls under the category of Amanda made me do it, which I'm citing that from Maria. So um, recently, Amanda B, your ink runneth over. That's cute. I like that. 1939 Atlas Stationers. Um, so Amanda posted a video recently of some inks that she got from Atlas Stationers and uh, they were exclusives and um, I had some FOMO. So I that day went ahead and purchased them and one of them i'm thinking might be a little bit like lady rose in gold from ferrisville press that um, is not available so maybe it will be a replacement for that so the two inks are robert oster polar vortex and Waringal, 12th night. So we're just gonna do a quick little swatch of these. And I'll do a swatch in my Waringal swatch book as well as a little circular blob to see kind of how it looks on Tomoe River paper. Uh, I have been missing doing swatches on Tomoe River paper recently. Um, I do love this book, but I, I know that some inks, the way that they dry on Tomoe River paper is different and it, you know, I just want to be able to capture that. So our first ink, let me... One, two... Maybe that's what I'll do. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I went deep, deep into that one. All right, so Robert. Polar Polar Vortex, which is in Atlas Stationers Exclusive. Sure, that sounds lovely. So it's a gray with some purple. 
Looks like a little bit of navy in there. All right. Well, it's got some feathering. That's interesting. All right, let's cap that. And the next one is Warringal Twelfth Night, which has this beautiful shimmer. Look at that. Let's get that nice and agitated. And then that cap was tight. All right. Do that. Oh, that's pretty. Rare and gold. Twelfth night. Definitely on the lighter side. So this is a atlas. Be nice if at some point I could write stationers correctly. Stationers. Exclusive. Agitate this again. Yep, because all of the shimmer settles right to the bottom pretty quickly. At some point, I want to get one of the like little ink kits that Warringal has, where you can mix your own shimmer or the Jekyll and Hyde where you can get it to change color. I don't know, I just think that that's pretty awesome. Wow. Okay. not too bad all right so here's the Robert Oster and the Warringal 12th night look at that the shimmer is just gorgeous now I'm gonna try to find quickly see if I can while this is drying So here's Lady Rose, and you can see here's Twelfth Night. So this is a little bit of a, um, hmm, brighter pink? That might be the word I'm looking for. Um, and this is, I don't know, a little bit more of a mauve pink. I want to, I almost want to say this is a little bit more of a rosy color than this one. There go. Oh, sorry. My dog just is coming back from visiting the neighbor. So my husband's uh, giving her some chats. All right. So here's our swatches and that is still drying, but I really like this Robert Oster, the Polar Vortex. So in the writing, it's got, you know, it's nice and dark, which is really nice. Um, 
it is a little on the blur grayish blurple side maybe that's the right way to say it grayish blurple um, and the lighter shades it is definitely has some nice gray to it and then it's got the navy and the purple and you can see here it's got some shading it's really pretty the wearing gold the 12th night my goodness that's gorgeous Ooh, that might be my five-year journal color for April. And a nice medium nib. Maybe ink up my medium Twisby or my medium Caveco. It's so pretty. But all those different shades of pink, you've got it from the very, very light to much darker and even right here you can see the different gradients of pink it's so gorgeous okay i love it it's beautiful all right so those are my two inks thank you manda for the inspiration to make this purchase not that I needed a whole lot of inspiration. <laughs> I'm going to need to uh, do a no spend here um, after after this one. <laughs> after, you know, I did that kind of a mini spending spree after not buying anything. In January and February, I went a little nuts. Um, I think this is the last of my purchases. But I'm very happy that I got them. So let me know, do you have either of these? Um, if you do, what pens have you uh, enjoyed inking these two inks up with? Or if you don't, what pens would you, would you want to put them in? Leave the, that in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.